But there's, there's our mates, yep. Larry and, and Simi Simeon. They're all our mates. I've seen one of them. My mate Eddie Hall is my protein athlete. Just said outside, someone just goes, Is this all for Eddie? Yes, that's all for Eddie. That's Eddie f***ing Hall. For f sake. He said it as if to say, like, Oh, it's only Eddie Hall. Shut up. You. I don't get what I want, I get what I need Every single day I'm heading off to my dream And I get everything that I damn well please I don't give a damn if you all listening to me Cause I run it, I'm the only one that really want it I'm the only one that's really on it I'm just being honest, I'm just doing everything I promise Cause I want it bad enough that I'ma make it as an artist And I know I'm not the smartest and I know I'm not the largest But I promise you that I'ma be the one that worked the hardest Cause I promise you that I'm just getting started And I promise you that my skills are getting sharper So I'ma get charted, can't be guarded Nah, I'm the one to get retarded Get the party started, yeah, get the party started Yeah, so let me get up on it, yeah Bitch, you got me fucked up I don't know what's up Pour that shit in my cup We bout to turn up Crank this shit up so loud Sounds like we're sold out In front of a whole That's crowd right. We lose yeah. control now Y'all take this shit too personally Everybody got a different version of me Everybody gotta be learning from me Everybody wanna be working with me And I feel like there's uncertainty and urgency To find out what you wanna be But honestly, we change our minds constantly So stop and breathe to find out who you wanna be Scale of 1 to 10, Dad, how buzzing are you to have just seen the bill? <laughs> Unbelievable. So me and Dad have watched summer shredding for, well, years. Yeah, like... About, about six, seven years? And yeah, well more, than, well, more than that for me, yeah. And if it's one person we didn't expect to see at that expo, like, I didn't think that we would see Brandon. We wound up seeing Brandon. But it's not unimaginable to have seen Brandon, if that makes sense. Yeah. In my head, we were never going to see Nabil. Pretty cool. And what a nice guy as well. <laughs> Day two. Smashed it. Action. <laughs> All right, it's good morning. It is Sunday morning. The final day of the expo. And while we were out yesterday, do you remember last Friday, Thursday, last week, I said, package has arrived. It's not what I was expecting. This is what I was expecting. So inside here we have a new tempo collection from my protein. You can use code LJ at checkout. I don't know what colours or anything like that, but if they fit good, and if they look good, we'll wear them today. So we have the MP Men's Tempo Track Top Black. The MP Men's Tempo short sleeve t-shirt, Storm. The MP Men's Tempo two-in-one shorts, black. And the MP Men's Tempo joggers, black. All in size medium, I'm size medium, always assume I'm size medium, unless I say otherwise. I'm going to try this on. If it fits good, I'll wear it to the show. If not, I, 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 I won't. <laughs> <laughs> If I like the colours as well, to be fair. I don't know about these shorts. No, two in one tempo. Two in one, shorts. what does it mean by that? It's got like a liner, underliner, oh, like right. cycling shorts. Like a swim short. um, I really like the last ones, but obviously this is a new collection. If I don't like how they fit, then I'm not going to wear them to an expo. If I know that I'm going to get too hot in them, I'm, I'm not going to wear them to an expo. Mm, like, no. Because mm. there's every chance that. Still on the sweaty... Okay, these, these should be okay. Yeah, these look oh, pretty right. similar. I see what you mean. Like a compression mm. short underneath. They're a bit short though. A bit, uh, a bit loose <coughs> though, sorry. I'm going straight in with this t-shirt. Hopefully, they haven't changed the design too much because Tempo... <laughs> tempo is my favourite. So, if they've changed it... They have changed it slightly. Yeah, oops. Good fit. Yeah, there's like a ribbon panel on the back. Mm. That's good though, it looks good on the back. It's, it's tapered. It's grey. Is that good or bad? It's good for oh, the gym. Good. Yeah. Oh. I don't know about an expo. There's a wall grey last year and all I could think about was can people see the sweat, sweat marks, patches. Yeah. Yeah, I'm awake, I'm awake. So here is how we're looking, ladies and gentlemen. Again, size medium. I'm not going to wear this today because I'm going to shoot it all 
on Monday or Tuesday at the gym. I'm gonna keep it clean, I'm gonna keep it fresh before, so I can take photos of it when I get to the, um, to the gym. Because that's why I've been sent it, to get content in it. Not get sweaty in it at an expo. So, here's how it looks. If you like, use the link in the description box. And code LSJ at checkout. Right, let's go. Day three. an option, so I'd be cautious. I hope that you're watching. Don't try to stop this. Work until I'm nauseous. Cause I will not quit. No, because I want this. Don't try to stop me. So I be cautious. I hope that you're watching. Don't try to stop this. Walk until I'm nauseous. Cause I will not quit. Not because I want this. Don't try to stop me. Agree. Did you learn anything? Really worth anything? 200 grand later and we're not even working Student loans worth more than what we're earning Best lesson I've learned is to keep on searching Find your true passion and get to work And better take action or you end up serving Yeah, that's a fact So you better clean up your back So you better grow yourself a sack And tell the world they can suck on that Don't come back, pack your bags You take a trip and don't relax You hit the switch and just attack You find your niche and make some racks Don't hold back Everybody wake up It's time to break up With the life you made up it's time to trade up, live the life you want now A life you don't doubt, I could give a fuck how Just get your grit out Wake up, wake up, man this life is a blur Everyone's got an opinion, so which one you prefer? Cause I'll give you one that's coming from an entrepreneur Don't give up on your dream if it's what you deserve The day is drawing to a close now, in fact the expo is technically closed They announced that the expo is closed Gotta admit, it's a little bit weird walking around with no music I suppose we gotta go sometime. Well, we do. It's getting on and I need to edit. <laughs> oh, donuts. Absolutely no chance I've got any left. Probably sold out about two o'clock. Sold out about an hour ago now. Oh, really? £10. Oh my oh, god! Shit. The last donut we got, it was for a VIP, but they didn't turn up. So, uh, oh, well, you're joking. Oh, well, any, well. Eddie had loads. Well, we'll take it for a tenner. Ladies, gents, can you mind your way to the exit, please? I'm going. Oh, I'm going. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, I'm going. Jesus Christ. Can you mind your way to the exit, please? I'm going. I'm going. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is the 2022 Arnold Expo. Day three. That's a wrap. Right, be careful with Eddie Hall's donut, won't you? Guys, we've got Eddie Hall's donut. No joke. Only got one in here. Just really? one? Yeah, only one. <laughs> I've got fat fish as well. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Oh my god. Oh, it smells so good. Amazing. That, ladies and gentlemen, is Eddie Hall's white gold. Yeah. Project D. That'll learn him. Donut. That'll learn him to not turn, turn off. Up. Give it to us for a tenner. <laughs> Go in it. The time is currently quarter past eleven. The video. That's what she said. The video. <laughs> That's it's currently bad. exporting. We're having a few technical issues. Well, that's a dad. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, we're well, at six. Hours. Apparently, it's got a uh, size of six donuts. I would say so. Piece, Go on, pick it up. Pick it up. Out. Excuse me. This. Look at that. Full of camera. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's insane, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Mm. Mm. I haven't got any middle bit yet. Oh, I have. Mm. Eddie Hall's donut, can you believe it? 
So it's no secret, if you've been following me for a while, that I've had a few hard drive, a few technical difficulties, a few technological problems this past few months, right? Today was no different. As you guys know, when I go to an expo, I love to hold myself to the standard of uploading on the same day. So I did that on the Friday, on the Saturday, on the Sunday as well, right? But the Sunday came with great struggle. We will get to that in just a second. Bearing in mind, you'd already had videos Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. My client work had been done alongside that I was very, very, very tired. And Sunday really, really, really tested me. Until... Hey Dad, wake up. 11.59. 11 fucking 59. Wednesday, Sunday, Wednesday, Sunday. I actually uploaded a YouTube short at the exact same time, just in case. But we got it live. We got it done. Oh my god, I sound like shit. Back to YouTube. <laughs> it's not YouTube, it was Final Cut's problem, not YouTube. But the work did not stop there, ladies and gentlemen. The following morning at 8.30, bearing in mind I live half an hour away from the gym. So we were up again at about 7 to prepare for this. We shot with Mark Hector down at UFB. That will be coming on the UFB socials and the media page in the very near future. Uh, that one's going to be a little bit more complicated because we kind of got to get permission from Mark. Obviously, he's a bodybuilder. He takes massive pride in, in how he looks and is very specific about the content that he puts out there. So everything we'll need kind of finalising with Mark um, and with Jay, who was doing the photo shoot that I was doing the behind the scenes of um, before we post that. But it will be coming in the very near future. So that is the busiest week of my life. No exaggeration, September, I had begged, the thing is I begged for a month, like September, for my entire self-employed career, right? I begged for a month this busy. And now it's here, oh my God, I'm glad it's nearly done, you know? Um, just, a, just, a, just a tad, just a smidgen too much. But my God, with, with everything going on right now, I am so fucking proud of myself. I am so, so, so happy with, with, with just how this month has, has gone. It could not have gone better from a professional standpoint. Everything that has happened, we were just in the right time, at the right place, and things just just happened. And, and there's no real luck when it comes to things like that. There is a certain amount of luck when it comes to being at an expo and Eddie Hall walking past you. That's kind of lucky, but when we thought about it and when myself and the old man kind of stepped back and thought, actually, if we didn't do this and do this and do this on that morning, which we didn't have to do, but we did it because it was the right, from a work ethic standpoint, the right thing to do. If we didn't do that, we wouldn't have been in there, we wouldn't have been there at that time, at that place. And so we negated all of this luck and actually just put it down to the fact that hard work will pay off and things will happen. You put positive vibes, good vibes out there into the atmosphere, into the world, and they will come back to you. I really, really, really believe this whole manifest thing is very skeptical as to whether you actually believe in it or not. Lots of people don't, and I understand that, but I do. I, from day one, have manifested things like this, weeks like this, producing content like this since day one. It's taken a lot longer than most to kind of get there, to get to this point, but we're here. We're out here working. I feel like I'm making myself ill I'm doing that much work. My eye is busted as well. So like, if you notice the puffy eye, I have no idea what's going on. I'm, I'm fine. Like, my dad's ill though, bless him. It's the following day after the expo and my dad's ill. I'm good, I've just got a puffy eye. I just feel like I've been punched, you know? But tiredness catches up with you. It's caught up with me, but we're still getting it done. We're getting videos like this done. We're getting client work done. We're getting vlogs done. Everything down to a T, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much, every single one of you. If I didn't get you on camera, but you came up and said hello, thank you, I appreciate you. If you wave from a distance, I appreciate you. If you didn't come and say hello, you just watched the videos, anything. If you are supporting me one way or another, if you support what it is that we're doing here, the message that we're putting out there, I appreciate you and I cannot thank you enough. I really, really can't. Stay tuned, subscribe if you're new for plenty more interesting content. We're gonna have challenges, we're gonna have more Arnold behind the scenes stuff, we're gonna have more athletes coming in and out of the gym in the very near future who I will be filming. All sorts, I'm not even gonna list it. I'm, I'm done talking, this video is a marathon. If you're still here, comment in the comment section down below. Arnold weekend was the dog's bollocks. Let me know, those actual words. And before I go, I have to say thank you to one man in particular. 
The old man, I know you're watching. Thank you, I love you, I appreciate you. I believe I am, I believe wholeheartedly I'm in this position right now, filming on this camera, sitting in this flat, doing the things that I'm doing because of what you have done for me. I believe that you, working so hard when I was a kid, when I was a little, when I was a little one, is, um, is the reason that I work the way that I do now. If you hadn't set that example, and I didn't realise it when I was younger, I didn't, to be honest, but as I've grown, as I've gotten older, I realise what it is and what, it, what you've done, what it takes to do what you have done and build a business in the way that you have done. And I feel like I am in the process of doing the same thing for, for myself, and so I thank you for setting that example for me as a kid because I think that work ethic is a learned behavior. I think that work ethic is something that you, you see and you kind of adopt for yourself. It's not something that you just have. It's not something that you're born with. And I learned from the best. I put up an Instagram post um, on the day that you guys are gonna see this video. I put up a story as well, a couple of days back, explaining those kind of thoughts. And I just wanted to say thank you to my old man. And if you're still watching right now, drop a comment saying thank you to the old man, because I simply would not have this channel if it was not for him. Together, we will grow. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and I'll see you there. That was a ramble. Love you, Dad.